Good morning, everybody. It's Ray and Ken from Two Drunk Brothers Garage. Uh, we're here in uh, Kenny's shop again, and uh, today we're going to be working on a trailer, uh, decking it. And we're going to rattle bomb it with some, uh, you know, some touch-up stuff, make it semi-pretty. Semi-pretty. There you go. <laughs> we're putting lipstick on a pig, folks, is what we're really <laughs> doing, uh, and we'll show you that here in a second. But uh, yeah, it's just going to be a utility trailer. We're going to deck it with some rough cut uh, cottonwood that we've had uh, sitting in Kenny's dry, uh, garage here drying for a while and get this thing um, put together and probably sell it down the road. Yep. And actually buy an actual car hauler is what our goal is. Yeah. We were going to make this into a car hauler, but uh, here in a second, you'll see why we chose maybe not, not to do to that. that. Yeah. yeah. But it'll make a good utility trailer for somebody. It's going to be an 18... Almost a 19 foot deck and, and uh, it's about 25 feet overall in length. Yeah, and it'll be eight feet wide. We're going to do the decking eight feet wide. So it might be good for somebody to haul a razor or, or a couple of wheelers, snowmobiles, four wheelers, whatever. Argo, whatever. Lumber, something, whatever. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure it out. But yep. uh, we're going to take you guys along for the ride. So here's the trailer. It's an old. Um, RV trailer that we took and Kenny will point out we added the extra channel channel here and then all of the cross bracing for the decks um, twin axle uh, 3,500 pound axle so it's going to be a 7,000 pound trailer the weight of the trailer is probably going to be every bit of 2,500 maybe even 3,000 so it's really only going to be able to pull like 4,000 pounds which is one of the reasons why we decided probably wouldn't make a good car hauler. And the second reason is the height of what the deck's gonna be off the ground. Um, I don't know how, how it'll tow and how stable it's gonna be, but it, it'll, uh, we're just cobbling this together with stuff that we had laying around. This is an old uh, travel trailer, trailer that I've had for decade or so. But we're going to set up and we're going to start this morning probably by nipping some of this stuff off there and taking off the old propane holder with the plasma cutter. We're going to take the old uh, hitch, the jack, jack off. Yeah. The jack off. We, we got a little light here we can take off. Right. And then uh, once we get that, we got some. We, like I said, we're doing this on a budget. I had two cases of cold galvanized spray laying around. So this is going to be a matte gray when we're done. Uh, we're just going to, we ain't going to do any rush protection or anything. We're just going to spray paint it. And, and uh, like I said, send it down the road. It'll be a suitable utility trailer for somebody. But it's not pretty. It does tow pretty good down the road as is, but... We'll see how it is after we get the decking done. All of our decking is over there behind that OSB. Um, it's two inch rough cut, rough cut cottonwood. Cottonwood is a giving wood that won't break hopefully. So that's what we're gonna deck it with. But we'll get it all uh, painted up, get it, um, after we do that, we'll get the boards laid out and spread out and we'll, we'll go from there. But We're just uh, getting the plasma cutter set up uh, to nip some of this stuff off. It's that little um, Amazon TL50 Charlie that we bought. Uh, it was like $280. We, we've only tested it so far. We haven't uh, really, really actually used it. used it, but what we've tested on, it seems to work pretty good for I'm gonna go ahead and zip. Kenny's gonna tighten up. Uh, we got a hose leak on the uh, yeah, no, smaller. back of the plasma cutter. cutter. I'm gonna hopefully zip these bolts off of this and get this guy. Tighten up at all? A little bit. She's leaking in here with it. 
it's a cheap uh, valve. If we remember how this little turn around.
Maybe it's too much of a gap. Maybe you gotta be right on this damn thing. So there's where we remove that propane holder. I'm not getting all fancy with the, we'll just throw the grinds. Some, we'll just throw some of this stuff on there. Yep, we're just gonna, we remove the old jack just to kind of clean this up a little bit in the front. That's all we're doing. We did buy a light kit. I forgot the fish tape. That's all right, I'll probably be coming over tomorrow. We have a, we have a hole here and we were going to try to fish tape all the way and down and there's a hole well there's a hole on both sides but we we're going to try to fish tape this guy down and bring the wires out back here at the opening so we can mount the lights but we have a bumper out back too but hopefully th that channel is open all the way up and we can fish those wires out so they're kind of internally if not, I was telling Kenny, we can run them down. There's these old brackets all the way down. We can yeah. run them on the inside of the frame rail and zip tie them down and they'll be up out of the axles. There's our cheapy light kit we bought just to, I don't know, Home Depot low special. Uh -oh. Kenny, uh -oh. yay. You gotta keep spraying once you get spraying with those because they, that galvanized freaking closes up the hole real good. Quick. But this is gonna be high tech here, folks. This is gonna be. Wow. Um, this is gonna be a, uh, a 100 foot paint job, is what this is gonna be. Uh oh. That, that galvanizes wow. thick. Oh, wow. And we're gonna get nice contact buzzes in here. Maybe we should get a N95 mask, but. An open door came in. Yep, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab a can and yeah. start helping Kenny and. I don't know about this brother. Oh, it, it's lovely. You should try it when you're 100 foot off the ground trying to paint stuff on a tower. And those lock up like that. Anybody that knows, you know. Let's see what that stuff is. What is that stuff? That's cold. supposed to be a good, a good uh, product. Zinkridge. It's Loctite. Loctite. Cold galvanized. 95% zinc or something like that. Zinc rich. But. There we go. You know what I'm talking about if you've ever been up on a tower freaking welding and painting after you're done and protecting and yeah, those things. 
do that right there. It was spraying good too. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be laughing at him, but I am. <clears throat> that's because right. he's that's the kind of brother he is. That's right. Here we go. Painting, painting, painting. Do you yeah. have a part Yes, I do. Uh, can't get this on my head. That's because you got a big head. Not as big as you do. But I keep paying anyhow, right? That's right. Great. Here, you get this inside, I'll get yours across. You what? I'll get yours, you get mine over here. Oh, okay, yeah. First paint can to... Uh -oh, I'm almost out. Well, that's good. You, if you were able to use the whole can, One can down. <coughs> Woo! We might have to crack the door. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. If I can smell some this, you can trick it up and shake it up really good. I don't know. Well, like, you gotta keep shaking too because, you know, <clears throat> it's just garbage. And pulling it off, that thing off the nozzle off helps too. I know. Yeah, it doesn't take long. These pieces of crap. Yeah, but you know what? The cost are great. Yep. Tire. It'll come off the tire. No, I mean like right there, like this oh. one. 
Why are we even worried about it? Well, we're trying to do a professional job here, brother. He just doesn't understand it, guys. Oh, that was a shitty spray. I was running out on him already. I mean, we can't have all over spray on the tires. It'll look like somebody rattle camped it. Don't know the road, right? Yeah, we do have brand new shocks on here. They're nice and yellow. We don't want to get those all painted. True. I mean, all right. I guess I'm going to step inside. I'll do this. You know, I'll just go down the inside. Do we want to paint the inside? I mean, I think we're going to have plenty enough paint. It won't hurt to put a little protect on. Oh, I'll go down the outside first and it will. We probably got enough to paint the whole thing. Yeah, we probably do. And it probably won't hurt. No, nope, it probably won't. So if you want to go down the inside, go down the inside. Where are we going with that? Let me know when it starts getting too chilly in here. No, nope, it's kind of like it's a... Fresh air? Yeah, a little bit of fresh air. Kind of strong back there. You want to get across? You want to go hit the little door? Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm almost empty again. That's your thick can, huh? Yeah. I don't know if I'm putting them too thick. No, you're not putting them too thick. So I'm trying to get all the brown metal covered. There you go. I'm really finding it, man. You gotta hold that can straight up and down a little bit fast. That's when I'm that's why it sprayed so long down there for me, because I held it straight up and down. Ooh, it's great. I think I got some eye strength in here. Yeah. Let's take one. We got some uh, dilly dilly too, but it's kind of early for dilly dilly. A little more early for dilly dilly, folks. I mean, it's never too early, but. We're uh, filming, I think today is October 13th, Ken? Um, I do believe so. I think the 13th, and we had our first snow yesterday, which. Uh, I had to drive into Anchorage with a buddy of mine. Was it yesterday or the day before? The night I come home when I called you. Well, uh, yeah. sorry, the, the, the first snowfall was two nights ago. Yesterday was the first day driving into Anchorage. And we had like eight accidents on the way. And it's like an hour and 10 minute ride from out here where we live to Anchorage. And it, uh, it makes it really fun when people are sliding off all over the place into the ditches. But, October 13th, first snowfall. We don't know if that's the early, I think that's the early day it's been since I have lived up here. October 10th is the day it snowed. October 10th is the day it snowed, that's right. The night of the 10th is yeah. the morning of the 11th. Yeah. So does that make today the 12th? Yeah, I think it is the 12th now. Yes. So the day is the 12th. I don't know what day of the week it is. I don't have a phone because I don't have my watch on, so I don't work in the garage with my watch on. There you go. Except when I'm painting or working in the grease. Maybe take the take the tire off and shoot the wheel. Hey, I'm white? Oh, we got a can of white. Well, we got all color tires over there. I probably got more white over there too. There you go. Here's what we got done so far. It's that cold galvanized is going to be a flat finish. Yeah, a flat finish, but we we don't we're not really like I said, we're not spending a lot of time on this. As you can see, 
where you know we prepped this down to bare metal you know made sure all that rust is removed before we're painting over it uh you know that's what i did here as you can tell you can't see any of that rust anymore but trying to get painted down in here without spraying the back of the tires kit try you know we got white walls down in there you don't want to mess those up right but it's uh I think I've got two cans sprayed so far. Kenny's on his third can. Working his way down here. He doesn't have very good wrist action going right now. I don't hear the ball oh. wobbling around. <laughs> uh, uh, anyhow, I think we still have 12. We, oh, we, still, have, whole case we still have a whole case plus, and I think, five four, more. Four, four or five in there. Four more grays. I think we're going to be able to paint the inside, too. We were... Not really focusing on it right now, but I think we'll just go ahead and paint everything. Yeah, just run a quick coat down it. It ain't gonna take very long. It's gonna dry all right. We'll be able to start decking this here in a little bit. Well, we don't care. We're gonna set the wood on anyway, right? That's true. But it is drying pretty fast. Yeah. I mean, we got the heat turned up to 62 in here, but we do have the doors open for some cross ventilation 26 degrees at my house today when i woke up 26 degrees so winter is hitting alaska people winter is hitting alaska for sure oh man i had a blow up kid Woo. dang it look at that that one just blew out on me
Kenny's finishing up the last little bit there. It's uh, I can make it without cracking another can. We actually got six cans left after that one he's got right there. <clears throat> but I think we increased the value of this trailer about. What do you think, Ken? I don't know. Twenty-five bucks. Twenty-five bucks. Probably got more than that in paint, but that's okay. I also told Kenny that I think we could park her outside for another 10 years and she'd be good. But not our goal. Our goal is to kind of start getting rid of some stuff. So if we could trade this trailer and I got two other trailers, if we could get rid of two of them and buy a decent car hauler used and... I think we'd get more use out of a decent car hauler. This can is just about empty. Oh, there's a spot right there. This can just about empty, which means that uh, this trailer is about about wrapped up, right, Kenny? Yep, I think so. We'll uh, probably have... open up the doors, turn the heat off a little bit, let it clear out of here, and give it a little bit to dry. And, then and start the decking process. And then start the decking process. The first thing we're going to do is we want to make sure we got enough to go from the high point back to the rear which is almost 19 feet and then if we got enough boards to cover that then what we'll do is we'll uh this area we'll angle cut some boards or make it the same width and hack and cut cut those off out here in line with sorry my focusing on my thumb but cut those off with the plasma cutter and maybe maybe deck that maybe deck that little area there kind of like a utility area if we got enough if we got enough lumber over there in the corner but we'll let this uh dry then uh we'll start filming again when we start laying out boards so uh we'll see you in the, in next, the next video one. cheers cheers two drunk brothers garage please like subscribe comment, comment. We really would appreciate it, and it doesn't cost you guys anything to like and subscribe and comment. Yep. So we would appreciate it. Cheers. Cheers.